Hey there, just a quick vid to show you how to make this awesome air heater. This one's got the sand storage in the bottom. I'm actually using a cast iron Dutch oven, a two quarter with the lid. So we got the thermal mass on the top, the bottom with the sand, and then the fuels inside of this cylinder. Wow, that's a lot of heat coming off of there. And here it is with methanol. Wow, that's putting off a ton of heat. Here's just a few choices you can top this thing off with. You can use a small tuna can like this, and you can either add some extra sand for thermal mass on the top, or you can just add water in here, or food, and kind of cook a little something in there. You can also use a double-sized tuna can, 12 ounce, or that fits too. That's the sand in there, but you can also use water, or cook in there. If you got one of these stainless steel pans, I just happen to have that fits right in there perfect that only took about three minutes to come to a full rolling boil Pretty cool looking with the lid on it. The sand, by the way, is great for holding the heat from the fuel and the flame. The cup's actually cooler. That's a 135 now, 57.6. In this sun, it's 100% invisible. I can't see it at all.
totally looks like it's off, right? But it isn't. It's 100% invisible flame to my eyes, except for the infrared waves. And check it out. I think the smoke is just some residuals like the oils from the manufacturing process burning off. But let me do this outside, otherwise the smoke alarm is going to start going off. Alright, it burned through three fuel cups of fuel so far, and there's still smoke coming off the lid. So I'm just going to remove the lid. I went ahead and removed the can you see right there. There's really no need to use that when you're using the Dutch oven. Just put the fuel cup right in the sand. These by the way are technically called camp stove heating covers. Put the cup about two-thirds full of that denatured alcohol, and we're going on about 25 minutes, maybe half an hour right now. Sweet.